Hi, I'm Rebecca Piper. I'm here today talking to Jan Rosier, who's doing his DBA research with the Centre for Innovative Products and Services here at Cranfield School of Management. Jan, can you give us an overview of the research that you're conducting? Well, um, what we are doing as a research uh, programme, in fact, is uh, uh, trying to understand the role of the CEO in innovation. Um, this is a topic of research which is quite actual because a lot of companies uh, are forced to innovate new products in order to uh, grow their business and launch new products. Um, what has not yet been um, explored in our opinion is what, act what the CEO actually does as an everyday activity in order to foster innovation in his or her company. What the liter literature offers is um, an, is an attempt to explain specific variables such as demographics or um, a relationship with the top management team <coughs> or with the board uh, in order to attempt to try in an order to try to understand the actual role of the CEO. But what has not been done until now is um, um, a way to try to understand the role of the CEO by looking into his or her relationship with the R&D function and to see whether this relationship actually may drive or foster innovation in an improved way is that if that relationship is a positive relationship. Now what we plan to do is um, uh, we are going to interview a number of CEOs uh, and ask about their role in innovation and at the same time look at the R&D function and see how the roles in innovation, as stated by the CEOs, are actually also are actually perceived by the R&D function as the roles that they consider important for them to innovate and to uh, generate innovative work behavior or uh, uh, innovative climate. Um, uh, we will do so by um, uh, conducting a study in biotech companies that are actually. Um, uh, conducting research and development to come up with new products and um, where the, uh, the need for new products and the need for innovative work behavior and the need for climate for innovation are extremely important. And therefore we think or we argue that the relationship between these two actors in the organization may specifically drive a culture of innovation and innovative, innovative work behavior. It's great. We look forward to seeing the results of your research. Thank Thanks, you Jan. Much. Thank you.